How's it going everybody? Welcome into the Pugger Reborn channel. Guys, we're back with another Let's Play with Battle Brothers Legends mod on the Beast Ledger. Uh, last off, we had a few injuries. Uh, Puggo, the Beast Slayer, our leader, I could say, uh, ended up getting injured. Of course, Bog took a hit and then so did Ulrich. Not much. We ended up, after the fight, going back to... Uh, Grafenheid. I hope I said that right. And we are now uh, taking different strides here. We, we've got our 16 guys. Uh, I was kind of looking at this. I, I don't know if I showed this early on. But we have some pretty good modifiers. And in fact, one of our best modifiers is walking through a swamp. How about that? So if we fight in a swamp, that would actually give us... Uh, or at least if we're getting chased, we can use the swamp. And I think these are the type of things you want to look at in the Legends mod to see what's what's going to be best to get you out of a sticky situation. Or just understanding your terrain and how you should travel. Uh, like, you know, usually in the normal game, you wouldn't cross through the bog. And I wouldn't recommend it ultimately too because there is a, a small chance that you can get everybody sick or at least a, a portion of your party. So just some things to think about. Moving in here, we do have uh, an available contract, something with brigands. Ooh, looks pretty simple. Drive off some brigands. Well, let's do it. Um, we did look last time and you guys know I have this little bit of an obsession with uh, witch hunters. And it does kind of fit the, the natural theme of Beast Slayers. Uh, and plus that modifier in the swamp, go figure. That's even better, right? Uh, we won't do that though right now. Let's, let's avoid that for now. Let's get on with some fights. We'll get right into it. Oh, we got a beast out in the woods too. Maybe we should check that out afterwards. You didn't plan to see him. Oh, we got another one. We're going to have a, a brigand leader. Or, uh, yeah, leader. Markward the Cruel. The, cr the cruel. <laughs> the cruel. Is that the brigands' encampment? The famed killer is apparently paying a visit to see his criminal offshoot studiously uh, marching around with the thieves, pointing his finger at this or that, remarking on the quality of this and that. Okay, so I there's about 10 men mucking about. I, I, didn't, I probably should have looked to see who we're facing, but we just got one leader. One raider, a bunch of thugs. Man, this is going to be great. So what we're going to try to do in this, not knowing what we're really walking into here, we should waste these guys. I mean, we're going to, we should waste these guys. But let's see what really we're working with. Oh, that armor. I will literally take everything he has except for that shield. We don't really need the, um, we don't need the sword. I would like to move up one. We could just let him come to us. I really don't want them to even have a chance to hit us. But let's just see. Take the easy shots here. Guys, one of the things I, I've been looking into is how to work with the volume so you guys aren't hearing all the clicks from my keyboard. Uh, the keyboard that I'm using is it's a Magic Eagle keyboard. These are really sweet. <laughs> I, I actually love this keyboard. It's just I didn't realize how loud it actually is. When you play so much or so often, you don't. I feel like you don't tend to notice some of those things. Uh, being online, different story. So, let's spread out some of this damage. Uh, being their thugs, they might run into the spear wall. So let's let's test that a little bit. I'm just gonna let that roll. Get Max ready. Um, really, Max is gonna get the brunt of these guys because they might do a surround on Max that'll give them 15 chance to hit. In either way, yeah, we could do a spear wall that might block off some of this. A little bit too much. It's too much thought, honestly. Let's just protect our guys here. I should have probably got some of their armor better off, but whatever for now. Okay. Again, I want them to push into the lines. This might be a little bit more fig or fatigue costly than I want. Look at Sugarcane. I've really, I've been kind of watching the series on my off time, and man, there's some guys that I really have fallen for. Is like Sugarcane. He's not my prototypical 
type of character, but he's he's really solid. I, I can't really it's hard to it's hard to really say. I just like the guy. I think he's he's a good brother. Okay, again we're gonna test the shield wall or the spear wall and see how they handle it. I imagine they're gonna wait a turn, but again, it's it's a wait and see situation. That's right, we got Hobbs the axe in the last run here. Don't need to worry about that, and I don't really know that we need to do it. I mean, if they went to Sugarcane, it would ah, it doesn't make sense. We'll just let them be. Yeah, see, they're hopping in a little bit. I have 39% chance. We're just gonna wait, because if we can just get a one shot on one of these brigands, it's gonna go, it's gonna do wonders. Yeah, like that right there, and we might have a prime prime candidate for death. In fact, I'll just start that motion off. Uh, man, that, um, the ambiotic noise of the rain falling in this game. Gosh, I love the sounds in this game. I'm literally obsessed. <laughs> uh, hey, there we go. Uh, this I want to see. Okay, I don't know why. Okay, so the javelin, okay, it goes astray and misses Markward, which makes sense at 5%. But then we get that hit at 46%. That's pretty sweet, that's good. Okay, shield wall. And then we'll probably wrap around. Let's get some more damage on this. Uh, yeah. He's, did he? He acts in 10 turns, so let's just wait. Because I really want these. I want them to move up. If they, it might have been a waste of a turn there. But let's. We're gonna wait again. Wait. Wait, and wait. I'm gonna let them come in and get a strike, possibly. Okay, good. Let's move the ranks down. Get a nice hit on him. Oh, the brigand thug is. Taking his chances around. He's not really jumping into the battle, which is actually pretty wise, except for that. <laughs> Just working on the surrounds. Now, this is where I want... Oh, what did I do? Oh, I meant to hit the dog. Hmm. Okay, let's... Let's focus out on this. Some nickel guy. Well, do we really need his armor? I mean, really, what we're looking at here is just well. Let's just let's just kill the guy, whatever. And for the surround purposes, for the quicker kill. Um, I'm gonna leave Bog. A, I'm gonna leave him on his own here. We'll move in. Just kind of set up for for some stabby stabby. Alright. Stab. East. Oh. 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 Alright. Alright, it's kind of moved in. Can't switch over just yet. But we've got a surround on him. Good deal. Good block. You're gonna. Just like I say, let's get the let's get the hits out of the way. Um Hmm, we'll just move up. Oh, that would have been nice. Step down. Try for the kill. Kill him. Move up. Move up one. Miss terribly. Yeah, I'm wondering. I gotta see his level. I'm kinda curious as to who maybe we should destroy a shield. I'm curious to what his max level is going to be. Uh, as an archer. Man, one of my favorite weapons. I just love the Noble Sword. It's a really solid weapon. I would love it to have more armor effectiveness, but beggars can't be choosers, so. Alright, let's see how well we can dig in. Uh, I'll move up. Kind of. Okay, you're going to try to run, I see. That's alright. 
What are our chances? I, I really need to look into this. 20. Yeah, he's got some really good defense. As he probably should. Move up. Stabby, stabby. No! Oh, well, that's not bad. Whatever. My fear... Oh, why am I doing that? I'm, there's some strategy mistakes. I should be using him to destroy that shield. Because now... We're putting ourselves in more of an awkward situation. Hopefully the dog runs out. Let's get that full surround. Now we can put some real... Now it's less of a... Less of a problem. Oh boy. He really doesn't need to be. Dang, what the heck? Oh, it's gotta be. No, that's why. I was like, why the heck is his stats so high? But then, the 10%, it helps. It definitely helps the bottom line. Okay. I uh, just want to see where, where these guys are. I'm going to release the dog in hopes that we can get that. Oh, is there another archer? I might be crazy. There's one. Two. Oh, nope. Either that or he ran a while ago, so. I'm surprised. He, I got I to gotta give it to this thug here. I don't know what, what his stats are, but man, oh man. Yes, good. And let's just get a quick kill. Yeah, I know this is kind of tedious, but we'll let the dogs. Three dogs on him is going to be absolute hell for him. We'll let that wait. Uh, let's move you up because you're close enough. I don't want guys running across the map. Uh, unless the archer goes around the side. We're able to jump on him here soon. Yeah, why don't you guys just relax over there? We got plenty of reinforcements on him. Yeah, he is gone. He is gone. Finito. I hope that means... Done. Or done for. Or not good. I don't know. Man, I just... Just guessing on this one. All right. Okay, so Bandai. You know, that's really cool. Bandai has come quite a ways, and we did end up getting the armor. We have a, a comparable Bandai. How about that, huh? I say that, but he's also sitting in the back ends, or ranks. So we should get more money for this. We weren't really we weren't really putting up to the task of much money in the first place for this. Oh, we got another level. I didn't even see that. I keep saying Hanes. Every time I, I was watching my video and I keep saying Hanes. That may be driving people nuts. Hans. So, I think... Uh, what are we doing here? Hans is going to be a frontline tank. He might not have the best defense when the times, you know, when times come. But I will outfit him in some serious armor. And we could do more health. But I'm going to go with the fatigue. Just because I want to deck him out in just stupid high armor. And if I do get him the shield expert, that would be helpful as well. He could be an outside brother. Seeing it now with underdog. Let's go that route. Decisive for sure. At least for him. And then Bandai. That's pretty good. The hit point's up right away. Obviously, we're at... A disadvantage with the fatigue and there's really not that great of roles in this I'm not liking the roles so I'm gonna do what I think is best for him is just kidding him out in the essentials that 85 resolve perfect perfect for what he's what he's doing right now now blend in is a, a legends mod trait hold yourself in a way that makes you see more double or er, trouble than it's worth Lean into trees, place objects between you and the enemy, and hide behind allies. Makes enemies 50% less likely to attack you instead of an ally. 
that is huge um for him we it, this literally just pulled him out of death's grip <laughs> that has known bandai for too long um so that's where that's that's really a helpful thing to have on him in particular. Now Puggo, I have had this little bit of struggle with Puggo because of the fatigue. I'm seriously wondering where or what we're doing with him. Yes, I love him, and he's a great character, uh, and also Kenneth. I, I, he's a great character. Let's just continue with that thought. He's a great character. I love him, I love what he brings to the table, but I can't see him in that full-fledged role that I've been wanting. The thing that saves him is the extra fatigue right here, this iron lungs in recovery. I think that means that he's at 19 recovery per turn. That's a huge amount. And I looked at it like, okay, if we get rid of this and he becomes... I don't know. Granted, this is higher, obviously, with the injury to the hand, 20%. Neg negative 20% is huge. But, yeah. I'm just, I'm struggling his final role on the team. What he's going to be. I can make some makeshift changes to make him more appealing for the, the, the band of brothers that we have right now. But this is why fatigue is so important to me. Is to get that to get the the, the strong arm brothers forth so like Kenneth we'll have him take over this uh Windwalker I really want her to survive so we're gonna kit her out with some good stuff I think Windwalker is uh is an apps she's gonna be awesome for the band all right so I'm just kind of quickly looking at what we have. No real, uh, no real big changes yet. Ooh, there we go. Let's do this. Dawson, obviously Dawson. Dawson was another one I actually been thinking about. Maybe he's supposed to be his role. Not maybe. His role is to be a two-hander. I'm not going to make him just a solid tank with these stats. He has to be able... We have to have two-handers here before long. And that is... Huge for late game. Two-handers change the battlefield. And it, it just changes a lot of things in your gameplay. So, if you're new to Battle Brothers, this is... This is going to help you, you know, is to understand that, yes, you may only get one attack. Get a brother who has really high uh, melee attack and just focus on that defense. If you have defense that's anywhere from 14 or higher, you can make him a two-hander. I don't like, I can't, it's hard for me to justify two-handers. Oh, wait, that's right. I want to actually go back. That might have been a waste of time there. There was something in the woods here, and I want to see if we can't explore... Yeah, let's explore what this is. My fear is that it's going to be 20 webnecks. Hmm. If we can fight him out of the forest, I'm fine. I think we can. And we're going to. Maybe we should do it in the swamp. We're going to pause here. Puggo, how are you looking here? Puggo can, will be able to fend for himself, and I think we're gonna need him in the fight. We can, we can swap this around. Maybe he focuses on just attacking, not so much the range. But I do want to have range, just because they are. Hmm. We, we want to have range. We just simply, we need range. I'm going to take this off. Uh, guys, you're probably already figuring this out too. I'm going to take, I'm going to take sugarcane. We're going to, we're going to mix this up a little bit. I love sugarcane and he's one of my favorite characters in this playthrough. But no, the noble sword has to go to Kenneth. We need to take this type of brother and just drive him home. 
I will put them on the outside at some point, but not right now. We're gonna use, I just wanna see who we have as a range brother besides him. If we can just get somebody who can chuck stuff at the enemy. Just a little chuck here and there. Yeah, really Puggo is the best option. We're gonna continue with that then. Uh, but what I was gonna say earlier is throwing axes are my personal favorite choice for throwing weapons in general. And simply simply put, my reasoning behind it is the absolute the armor damage. You know, this is a weird this is a weird thing. I'm not a car enthusiast. I don't know a lot about vehicles. I'd like to tell you I do, but I don't. <laughs> I just know there's vehicles I like and don't like. And what I've learned from living in the north, uh, old diesel trucks, okay, they last forever. Diesel vehicles last forever. I mean, they're in for the long haul. This is a ter this is probably going to be a terrible explanation. Somebody's going to catch me on it. But in the north, they're not like like people use them. A lot and they are um, how do I explain this I'm really trying to be careful about how I explain this but hang on let me just get this let me just get this figured out here they are they will jump into the spear wall so Keep that as is. Oh, I should have had him. I should have had some nickel guy do the wrap. Okay. Oh, jeez. Man, if we could have gotten that kill. All right. So I'm gonna explain this as best as I can. Us normal fuel vehicles last forever. They're fun, uh, and so on. But you got the workhorse of a truck that has diesel and some other ones like Volkswagen they have their own vehicles that are diesel uh, and I look at diesel as like the same thing in categorizing uh, a javelin compared to a throwing axe. A throwing axe is like a diesel it lasts a long time but in the cold the older diesels you have to it, you get, once you start them, you have to let them run for a little while, right? It's a slow burn type of thing. You don't use axes for, uh, you know, you use them. You use them for fun, but you're using them to chunk out armor and then cause the damage. Most people would agree that when you look at the stats, it you almost it almost doesn't compare, or it doesn't feel like it fully compares to. Hang on, let me just throw this out. I have a terrible attention span, so I always, I always feel like normal fuel vehicles. I used to have an Audi, and they're awesome. Like they're fun cars and so on. And what type of fuel doesn't exactly tell what kind of car it is or what how good it is. But I don't know if I'm getting my point across this. Javelins are like fuel vehicles, diesel is not. It's a slow burn thing. You might not agree with how the damage output, but it's still a great uh, thing one, nonetheless. It's still, like, they're both great, but I don't think I'm driving this home well. <laughs> I'm going to actually stop. I, I, had, I had thought about this earlier today because I thought it was, like, I don't know, it made sense when I said it, but now I'm, like, I'm gonna have to, I'll come back to that analogy. I'm, I'm doing a. I'm gonna do a series on. Oh, I shouldn't have done. I shouldn't have ended that. I should have put up this another spear wall. I'll make a better analogy for that. I apologize, guys. I was really. I'm just distracted for one, and yeah, I'm struggling with it. <laughs> I'm struggling with the idea. Okay, some nickel guy. We gotta get you out of there, dude. I feel like. Who's gonna jump up here? Oh man, it's kind of rough because 
There's so many down here. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have spread these guys out unless they have certain traits, but we'll see. Let's move. Let's try it like that. Yep. Okay, so. Um, we need to get... I think I'm going to have to jump into them. That's going to give... That's going to give the best strategy on top of them. They're, they like... I mean, spiders just simply... They overwhelm in numbers. Okay, I didn't know spiders have ears. I guess. Dang, look at this. Look at them. They really want... They really want to cause some damage here. Okay. Good enough for me. Nope. Gotta get out of these webs. Who is gonna be the best to go after? Wow, hey, was that a one shot? That had to been a really 44. Time to throw some rocks, or not. All right. Okay, we need to get Puggo in here. We need to add a little bit of help to the cause. Oh, you missed. Man, I don't know. We've been... Those 70% chances have been kind of a... Kind of a wreck, you know? Now, the dog could be either a good thing or a mistake. If he runs off to go attack these things... Mistake. <laughs> um, like, running off into the distance. That could be very bad for us. Okay, good. Nice. Good job. We put the dog out. This is just strategy and saving ourselves. Nice job, dog. Giving, giving him the business. Okay. All right. So even if there's a wrap over here, we have we have some heavy hitters that we can kind of migrate over. But they are really kind of swinging around. Dang, they're really going for the attack, too, without... I think they'd want to wrap the dog, even. Good job. Good job, Duke. Sure, I had to scroll over to know his name, but... Doesn't stop the good job. That a good boy. <laughs> right? Sweet. Yeah, I think they're wrapping around. There's a little bit of logic behind these spiders. They're trying to get around to the archers. Oh. Oh man, I'm gonna hit my own guy. Alright. Nice job. I think... I'm gonna move around to the back side here. And then Puggo. Let's just get you free. Quick kill. They're fine. We need to make our way this way. Need to protect Puggo as much as possible. Good shot. Okay, now that he's freed up, let's get him over again to Puggo. You are freed up, so. Oh man, I really want it. Alright. Move up just for, again, the heavy hitting. All right, and then again we'll have Puggo or Puggo. We're gonna have who the heck? Sugar, Sugar. I was thinking Puggo there. Again, more hits. Let's get ourselves out of this mess, or not. Get ourselves out. One hit. Perfect. Uh, not so perfect. Yeah, they still have the numbers on us. So, and... 
we just don't want to get. Oh, good job. Keep it going, dogs. Dogs have their uses. Save me in this one so far. Um, yeah, so we need to get, again, we need the reinforcements over here. It might be worth hitting these guys, but I'm going to relieve some of the stress or pressure over here. Good job, Pogo. Let's go. Um, you know what? That was a mistake. Move out this way. Nope. Let's get some more help up here. Usually, I am. This is. It's been. I don't know when the last time I've been this spread out. When I'm. When I'm facing these things, I don't usually take this much. This much length on these guys. Let's. Let's free a bog. We gotta get free down here. I'm gonna wait because he needs the health or he needs the fatigue. Oh, I was hoping I'd get that kill. Sweet. So at least they're feeling some of the effects. The morale change is helpful. Good. More kills. Now they're gonna start wanting to retreat. Very good. And the dogs will chase them. Here's hoping that they, you know, for having 14 enemies right now, we gotta we gotta really windle down the numbers, guys. That's a big, that's gonna be, it's gonna be a big part of this right now. I'm gonna go with the dog. After him, girl might die. I can't. I, I want to, but I, I just can't. Man, you are really stuck. Gauze is. It's like the gauze of life's got him. And. Yeah. Everybody's kind of winded. Now, I don't 100% know. Obviously, this is a beast campaign. This is the type of stuff that we want to strive for. There is a chance we get a rune. Oh man, it sucks. I think that's Duke. He's probably gonna die. Oh, oh I didn't know they have fast adaptation. This is new. I don't know if this is a Legends mod thing, or maybe somebody can comment below and just let me know. I had no idea that they had fast adaptation. That is weird. That is really really bizarre to see that, honestly. Okay, we're gonna move up. Try to free free got or bot bog. We can we can say it. It'll work. Uh, I'm gonna let Carson Uh, rest a little bit. He only got seven left. Let's just get her fatigue back. Move in. Where's... Who, who are we looking at? Oh, okay. Oh, I'm gonna try to protect the dog. It's not gonna work, I'm sure. But it's sure it would be nice if I can keep him from dying. <laughs> Dogs don't cost, I mean, they're still not cheap, right? You got, it's 300, we got, we paid 300 for our dogs each. Yeah, a few kills pretty much makes up, I think, the bulk. But still, okay. So 
If he runs, why will that spider run is the question. We're gonna find out. The dogs are happy as hell right now, look at this. Confident as, as best as it could. Alright. See what I mean? I don't know if you saw that, but maybe I can show you again, again here soon. But when you have that ability to have one extra AP, it's amazing. You can do three steps before you attack. It's the best. I absolutely love it. Da -da. Kenneth. Making waves. Move out. Wait. Uh, if we can get closer at least. Yeah, we're gonna wait. Wait. Please run. It's all right, we should be able to hunker down on him. And the dogs are gonna make their way that way as well. So I'm, I'm just hopeful here. I don't know that we're gonna, we're gonna have the dogs survive. Hopefully after this round, they'll be like, yeah. Yeah, we're done fighting you guys. But I am happy with the way this is turning out. We have 15 brothers on the field. Yes, okay, we're not gonna lose anybody. We're just gonna call it there, it's over. We have a chance for a rune. I don't know if we're going to. Yeah, we, we didn't end up getting it. I. Th at least I think we had a chance for a rune. But, definitely fun, definitely what we wanted. Hobbs, continuously getting those that skill up. We'll get some more fatigue on him. And, I mean, he could be really a two-hander as we go forward. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go back here. Let's go to Perks. He does not... I, for some reason, I thought he had Brawny. But what I'm going to give him is Clarity. Clarity was what I was just talking about, giving you that extra AP point. So, again, we'll give him the, the uh, melee. Definitely gonna go fatigue. If you ever get four fatigue, just take it. If you don't take it, it's you really need a different area. And I understand that. It's not a hit on anybody who tries, you know, says otherwise. But four fatigue on zero stars is a, a gem and a half. Okay, we'll sort up everything. And man, if we we almost need to, I think we need to find dogs, or uh, wolves. Wolves would be a great, would be a great start, honestly. Day 44, and it is nighttime. Kind of a cool landscape here. This is actually not a terrible map. Everything seems pretty central. Oh, you know... I did not realize we were so low on supplies. Makes sense, honestly. I'll just buy all this stuff. The luxury of having money. Uh, but I'm not gonna blow, not gonna blow ammunition on how much that costs. That's stupid. That is just a dumb price. Mm. Food, we got two more days. Plenty of gear. Let's just get rid of some of this stuff. Some of it's a throwaway. I mean, you're 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 beating at a wall in some instances on some of these prices. Sometimes you, you're just not going to get what you're looking for. So we need to sell just things like okay, short sword. Maybe we get 70 total out of this, or not even 70. Being so 40% at 20 gold, we can double it at 40. I'm gonna go with no. If it was if it was full, uh, fully healed or whatever, or healed fixed so we'll continue that get rid of some shields again just the little things taking care of some small things let's look at 
what we have here. Okay, so this is actually, this is pretty cool, but I've never actually come across, oh, we, we did look at this earlier, but I've never come across one of these guys that really shined. I, it all comes down to the, the stats, like, or the stars, I should say. If you get a good, if you get good star, say like resolve, yeah, we just don't need that. I would love to find one of these guys worthy of recruiting, but I just, I can't, I haven't. Oh, blow some money. I love me, I love me some Wildman, but while he has the defense, if he can't hit anything, what does he have for stats here? He does have Brawny. Which doesn't really mean a lot for him. Does he have backstab? He does have backstab. Hmm. That helps. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm looking for... If if we gave him... Let's say we had this brother for long term. He has the resolve. He's going to have defense. He'll have... Uh, we can get him Colossus. We can, if we went fast adaptation because his his attacks are going to be so low. Backstabber, of course. Just looking at this, Brawny. It's going to be a must if we're going to give him big armor, or heavy armor. If he didn't end up working out, you still have, you have Berserk with him. He could be a duelist. That's surprising. I feel like in Legends mod, I don't see duelist on one of these guys. He has Nimble and Battleforge. Close combat archery. That's interesting. Muscularity. That's good. Rebound. You know, guys, I'm crazy. But I think we're going to go Kettleman. Oh, man. We don't want to do another one of those names. But I'm going to just try some other things here, too. I would like to get an... We need to get another archer. It's not even a question. It's kind of weird that we're at day 44 and no archer. Or another... Not two or maybe even three. Okay, another big purchase. But this man lives in the wild, and we like ourselves some wild men. So, wild women, wild men, wild, wild west. I'm just, I'm throwing everything out there. All right, let's outfit him right off the bat. Get him. Oh, wait, you know what? Let's look at his defense. D guys, this is actually really surprising. Anybody who plays Battle Builders knows that wild men do not get, they're not known for their defense or as smart as they are, Fit negative 15. But this is fan, this is beautiful. I mean, this is really good. This right here is what we look for. They always usually come with pretty good resolve. The attack, I feel like they're normally higher than this, but I, I maybe I just haven't rolled correctly. But that's this defense starting out eight right off, right off the smack of the, oh, it's good. I get excited. Probably too excited, but still excited. And I'm gonna keep him with the boar spear. I know it's weird having spears this much. Good roll. We gotta work. We gotta continuously get this fatigue up. And then defensively, we're, we gotta we gotta hammer the defense home. Just because he's, I'm looking at him as a two-hander. Uh, and then for his first perk, well, you know what, actually, I just kind of contradict myself. Maybe, well, let's just see how the dice roll. We're going to keep him, maybe not a two-hander, but if we have him as a duelist, that's what I was thinking, more duelist. So that way, if we're doing fast adaptation, we can constantly get that proc on the fast adaptation. Because later game it gets tougher, guys. Especially in the Legends mod, it seems to get tougher. I again, I could be completely wrong about it, but yeah, I mean, just the things you notice. Let's switch around some guys here. A lot of spears on the front. I'm actually shocked. I've been so spear heavy, but it hasn't deterred me. I haven't seen anything that doesn't match. Now, as beast hunters, we're going to use nets. We need the poison. I want to utilize it. And, and again, guys, if anybody wants to see anything, if there's anything you want to see through this playthrough, like you want to look at this, Armor of the Mountain. And we will face some random beasts, and I'm telling you I'm going to get crushed because these are insanely difficult. This is ultra, ultra late game. 
Like, there's a lot of other things that are harder than these. This is probably the hardest thing, the Demon Alps. But, Armor of the Mountain. It's, there's, there are rock trolls, or rock unholds. But as you can see, repairs your 10% each turn. So, I mean, that's pretty good. There's other, you know, obviously you can stack the perks and make it better. Uh, the demon helmet of the Alp here. You can scream, do a morale check. It'd be sweet, but incredibly difficult. Um, the helmet of the mountain. Again, another really nice for fatigue. For, for, yeah, for fatigue. That's not bad for that helmet. Actually, maybe it isn't. Maybe it is. No, that is heavy. That is pretty heavy. I'm thinking of something else. I must be... I was thinking that the other helmet is... Or this right here, the full helm, was lighter. 20. Yeah, this is actually worse. But, again, the armor regeneration. Plus, it looks sweet. I can tell you this. I do have... I have killed these guys, the ghouls. And I have this helmet. I could have made this right here, but... It's... Situational is all... All... I don't even know. You need a brother with insane amount of health. I've never fought the stole worm. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any any questions, just let me know. I, we got to keep rolling on this. I just I know that that's going to be a topic of discussion, just because it's so unknown to a lot of people, especially with the Met Legends mod. Uh, all right, let's check out the quests. Raiding parties, let's hold off on that. Two stars, that's not bad. Probably, and then fighting giants. That's a lot of money for fighting giants. Hmm. We're just not equipped. I feel I feel like we could do better with being equipped for giants. I would rather fight them in the wild. And I don't know how many we're going to fight. Let's do... I need to be paid more for this. Oh, boy. That's not what I meant to do. All right, let's do the raiding parties first. Okay. Um, and while we're waiting, I know that we're pushing time. Well, you know what? Actually, I'm going to... Guys, stay tuned for the next episode. I know this is episode 12. So I, I really want to... This battle here is going to take a little while, I'm sure, for the raiding parties. So stay tuned for episode 2. We're going to end the clip here. And please hit the like, subscribe, support the channel. I got a lot of good content coming towards you guys. And if you have any questions, please throw it in the comments below. I'd love to answer anything that you're mulling over in your head or you just want to understand with the Legends mod. So thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.